everyone, this is Deborah. My voice may not coincide with the pictures at hand, so keep that in mind. But I suggest that all of y'all uh, go take a walk around your yard because you're going to see some interesting things. You may have a tree that is diseased or dying, and maybe you can catch it in time. But today I saw this eastern tent caterpillar. And uh, they are not poisonous to humans or pets. Uh, they're harmless and they do not bite or sting. However, if you touch them, some people can get an aller allergic reaction because it has this little hairy thing that can irritate your stomach and you could get a skin rash or irritation. So as you can see, uh, I'm going to grab it with my with a gloved hand and I'm going to stomp on it um, because... They don't really harm a tree unless your tree is already under stress, and then it can do a lot of damage. So keep that in mind. Um, they can defoliate your whole tree. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, you should wear gloves. It's uh, usually safe to handle them gently. You should wash your hands and avoid getting those hairs in your eyes. Now, you can tell if you've got these, if it's got a white stripe across the back. And as you can see, this does. Uh, because I owned a tree company for 40 years, I learned a lot about trees and insects. I took entomology in college and got an A+. As you see, mine had the white stripe. Uh, they usually uh, come out in the spring and early summer. And the reason why it's encased in that silk, it's protected from predators and parasites. They're usually two inches long with blue, black, and orange markings, and they have a white stripe down the back. So that is that. So um, now you're going to see another uh, worm coming up. So let me pause this. Okay, these are the bad boys, and they are usually very disguised in your tree, so you really need to look in close to a tree in order to see these bagworms. Uh, this was a big issue with a lot of my customers. A lot of them would, you know, hand pick them. Well, some of these bagworms are 50 feet, 70 feet up a tree, so then they would hire me to bring the bucket truck out and hand pick them. Um, but some of the homeowners would eradicate them themselves if the tree wasn't that tall. And they would hand pick them and then put them in a trash can and, and throw it away. Can you guess what would happen? All right, I'm going to tell you. Uh, the worms would crawl out of their trash. So the best way to get rid of them totally, 100%, is to burn them. You can also kill them by stepping on them or putting them in water or uh, another method is to, you know, like I just told you, is to pick them off by hand, but that's not always possible. A lot of people will put them in soapy water, rubbing alcohol, whatever. This is the worm itself. This is what crawled out of my customer's trash. So uh, there you go. But they are disguised in your tree. And as you see, it, it looks like part of the tree. No, my darlings, those are bagworms, and they are masters of disguise. They can look like a branch or a pine cone to protect themselves and avoid predators. Um, damage from the bagworms is not always noticeable. Now, this is uh, a fall webworm. You see, these are yellow. There's no white stripe down the back. Same thing goes. They're not that harmful to a tree, but I just think it makes your tree look ugly. But uh, a lot of birds and um, bats will eat these, but I don't want them to do any more damage to already sickly trees. So I will, you know, hand pick them and squish them, but you can't do that with the bagworms. I would really suggest that you burn them. So I hope that you found this um very educational. And thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.